The next upload I'm sharing about is with regard to the matter of repeat offences against a mother, married mother, um, that is experiencing slander of character and defamation of character, reputation and good name. So as I've highlighted throughout this um, entire documentary of my experiences of inhumane, intolerable behaviour, the issue of um, individuals misrepresenting any agency or body um, to cause uh, violations of an exacerbatory nature um, have also been um, the cause of concern that I've had to contend with while healing from individuals that have disrespected the Hippocratic Oath and that have developed from my body um, artificial intelligence uh, developments that I did not consent to. So they've damaged my light body, my physical anatomy, and they've damaged my personal space and there are repeat offences, retaliatory offences due to the um, sharing of the facts and truth of this entire ordeal that I've unduly experienced. So the issue of um, individuals that are misrepresenting bodies and agencies to trespass upon me and to uh, cause harms to my royal patronage after damaging um, my innocent child and after damaging very precious sacred light fragments as a royal sacred I am really concerned how any respectable self-respecting um, dignified honorable um, professional mature human beings could in any way facilitate any more stupidity in this very dangerous situation it's quite disrespectful to any progress that has been occurring as a recovery advocate of sanity and sobriety I have an obligation to reiterate ad nauseum from a daily perspective the dangerous circumstances and conditions that have been caused for my child and I and the irresponsible nature since 2017 when um, procedures were not respected or acknowledged duly. So this situation is a disrespect to humanity, it's a disrespect to the Declaration of Human Rights and the Declaration of Human Rights is around a lot longer than I am and um, around a lot longer than the individuals that are disrespecting it with um, unintelligent behaviour. And I have a huge concern for those that are being jeopardised and compromised to facilitate uh, these fraudsters in society that are disrespecting the Declaration of Human Rights and in particular the Constitution of the country, which are all other very dangerous matters as well. So um, the issue that I have mentioned already is the information that has been withheld from me. I've worked for three state departments successfully, three state departments since 2003 with a successful outcome. And um, I'm really concerned how the representatives of the country didn't feel obliged or even necessitate the requirement they have to fulfil um, or furnish me with the information and guidelines that I should have been provided with as I'm of legislation, royal patronage and humanitarian protection. So all of these responsibilities have just been waylaid and the individuals of repeat fraud in this country that have tarnished and jeopardised um, people's integrity and the constitution, which is a very serious offence, as we already know. So um, these people that have been irresponsible in their duties and capacities and that have been developing AI against the very strict conditions and boundaries and limits that AI is applied to, Artificial intelligence is a very delicate development and academia does not respect individuals that work, uh, let's say, with a free hand at other um, areas that they shouldn't be delving into. So the mix between science, medicine, faith, sacred, all of that, and then artificial intelligence coming from that and being misapplied, misappropriated and misused are all very dangerous issues that I'm raising in these uploads to highlight the incompetence I'm in, I'm in confrontation against. Um, it's a really sad sign of the times when professionals can't behave professionally and when there's a lack of dignity and honourability. It's just a very poor sad sign of the times when individuals don't have the um, courage and bravery and the um, strength and wisdom to um, present themselves as they should with what they're obligated to. So there are obligations to my royal title, I can't reiterate that enough, and I've experienced offences and abuses only recently um, on the side of my body that hasn't been treated by the doctor I sought uh, treatment from in 2018. So medical negligence and abuses from individuals representing 
um, themselves um, in a negative capacity and not within remit to be within any boundaries of Maria McElligot here in this upload are all the, the criminal offences I'm experiencing in a democracy. So the government have obligations, they're not meeting the obligations, they're disrespecting my role in legislation and there are individuals, um, as I mentioned, harmonising um, with my sacred purpose, um, traffic light system and <laughs> driving around in cars. Um, it's quite insane and they're disrespecting the source of that um, very sacred gift. So it's really silly that people are talking about harmonising and synchronising and um, not even doing their jobs properly. It's, it's, it's contradictory, it's disrespect to the faiths that have been already been abused. There have been several faiths disrespected since I uh, first experienced treason in 2016. So they're not really um, within any capacity to be um, synchronising or harmonising with the Royal Sacred when they're not even able to uh, make amends uh, that they owe since 2006 and when they're not competent or capable enough for the uh, role of reparatory um, procedures in circumstances such as this and especially when they're making um, an issue um, of or a concern of financial exploitation. So the individuals that have been damaging from my sacred and that have been using it for wildlife and nature, um, artificial developments, and then for financial exploitation, while disrespecting my constitutional human rights and my royal patronage and trespassing on my property and upon my child are all very dangerous offences that the uh, European Court of Justice was made aware of in 2019 as well. So uh, disrespect to my nuptials as a married mother is also offensive and it disrespects women and children's rights. So as a married mother, um, individuals um, of a morbid mindset um, intruding upon me and facilitating adultery and then preaching from the pulpit are all highly disrespectful. So um, those abusing faith and disrespecting family and not uh, working with the pillars of the democracy are damaging the future directly and indirectly and those of um, initiatives um, of harmonization and synchronization um, while disrespecting my purpose are um, working against the principles of spirituality, faith and religion, which is another human right. So I hope the United Nations knows what is what in this circumstance and I hope they understand the nature of these uploads as a documentary for the sad sign of the times that has been caused for an innocent child that was exploited, traumatised and unlawfully withheld from his mother and um, the abuse against women's rights as a professional. It's highly insulting that um, my role in education and legislation and humanitarian endeavours have been um, disrespected to accommodate um, the unforgivable the unacceptable and the intolerable. So um, this is for the interests of the UN and the matter of Tralee County Kerry um, exacerbating fraud and exacerbating hate crime and treason.